Okay. Hopefully, you should be able to hear me and see me. I'm just rearranging my windows here because I've got it set up for um, Twitch streaming. I'll have to sort that out. I need to... Hello, Susan. Okay, did this come up as a notification in my YouTube somebody's gone live thing? I'm curious because it's unlisted, so it shouldn't have. <laughs> because I'm testing, but yay, somebody here talking to me. It did. Bugger. <laughs> Oh well, I'll sit and chat to you anyway. It was a guinea pig test. Um, I'm trying to set it up so that I can stream to my Patreon page. Um, I've got a big smudge across my glasses. I think it's Maddie Snot. Ew. <sighs> um, I'm trying to set it up so I can stream to my Patreon page so I can stream private for my patrons from OBS but it doesn't seem to want to do it it came up with I set it as a scheduled stream unlisted waited till it said it was waiting for me and then went live and boom here we are with everybody so that didn't work did it <laughs> how are you all anyway I haven't streamed on YouTube for ages what is the sound and um Sorry, I've got two different videos going on here and I can see myself twice doing two different things, which is a bit disconcerting. Let's do that. So I can't see what you're seeing. I can only see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's really confusing otherwise. So caught off guard now because I was going to try and stream something for my patrons but that's okay because I have something that I was going to do for you guys so let me just get my lights and things going where's my why is my light not working light why are you not oh it is working there we go so I'll move this out of the way and while I'm doing this I'll just let you know because I, apparently a lot of people haven't seen it I'm, I'm not quite sure why uh, I have been doing <coughs> excuse me froggy throat I've been doing live streams over on Twitch for those not familiar with Twitch Twitch was a live gaming platform but now it's uh, to do you can do creative stuff over there as well now um, it seems to be mostly us gamer types who do slightly nerdy things but you know it's it's working so far so if you want to follow me over there as well this is the url there we go I'm just getting my file of facts. One second. So, was that you, Boo? I think we have poppy farts happening. Twitch is just like this, but it's easier to control. Like, I'm having trouble getting this set up to work properly, although it seems to be behaving today, touch wood. Uh, there's other reasons as well, which I've explained over on Twitch. I'm not going to explain them right here, right now, but um, let's just say it has to do with ethics. <laughs> and I'm sure a few people can guess what that means YouTube anyway 
Oh, where's my screen gone? Hang on, I've lost my screen. There we go. I'm trying to get my chat and my screen going at the same time. So anyway, Twitch is owned by Amazon and Amazon are very good at, well, they were the original affiliate program, basically. Uh, they were the very first company to come out with a really good affiliate program for content creators. And they've done Twitch, they did it as a gaming platform, now they've made it. Then they added an IRL section for gamers who wanted to do vlogs. And now they've expanded it to creative people as well. So you get to, I think it came from people wanting to show how they made games and how they did cosplay and how they did fan art and that kind of stuff. And it's just snowballed. It's now an open platform, um, but it's still mostly us nerdy gamers. Sorry if I'm not looking at you in the right place. I'm not used to this camera. Um, I've lost my chat. Where's my chat gone? Goodness me. <laughs> right, here we go. Too many windows open. Um, where was I? Yeah, it's owned by Amazon. So a little bit of confusion happens because Twitch has a subscribe and a follow. A follow option is like subscribe on YouTube. Totally free, nothing to it. You follow, you get notifications when somebody goes live, it pops up on your phone or your computer or your email or wherever you have it set to. And it says, hey, so-and-so's just gone live. And you click the link and off you go. And you can sit and watch it on pretty much any platform anywhere. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that is not the same as YouTube subscribe. That is more like um, what YouTube keeps saying they're going to do, where you can pay a certain amount to get extra features. Um, obviously, it's it's aimed towards gamers, so it's fun stuff. But it's kind of like, like Patreon, in that it's entirely up to you if you want to subscribe and how much. It's not a requirement. Um, I do have the option to do subscriber only streams, but I won't be doing that on Twitch because on Twitch, all I do is non-tutorial, non-planning, totally art and crafts. Just the fun stuff that I do in my spare time. And I think, you know what? I could live stream this. Why am I just sitting on my own doing it when I could talk to people? YouTube here will still be for tutorials, pre-scheduled videos and so on. And my class is still on Patreon, obviously. OK, so nothing's really changed. I've just added in live streaming over on Twitch like this, but on Twitch. And it's way more fun and it's way easier to use. And you get to use chat properly instead of not being able to find it and various other things. OK, let's switch cameras. I also get to do fun stuff like insetting cameras, but Mm, I can't do that here. Here we go. So let me just adjust for not having my thing open. This is my Jane Davenport planner. And I did a video not long ago about um, how I redid the inside. Sorry, I keep losing my screen. The planner itself is this kind of tealy blue on the inside. And yeah, I didn't like that. The Twitch link leads to a page that doesn't exist. Oh, have I put it in wrong? That's weird. OK, one second. Let me find it. I thought that was the link. Oh, it's www dot. Sorry. I apologise. I missed off the wobbly wobbly wobbly. Thank you. 
thank you for letting me know Ellie there you go that should work And uh, if you just want to follow and you don't want to subscribe because, you know, some people are already paying on Patreon and I don't want to, I don't want you paying twice for stuff. That's silly. Uh, obviously, unless you want to. Um, on the Twitch page, what you're looking for is the heart. That's the, the follow is the heart. The subscribe is a proper button that actually says subscribe. It's a big, big purpley blue thing. Purpley thing. Okay. So if you only want to follow and just see what I do, there's no private streams over there, so you're not missing anything. Um, that is the heart. Oh, you're off, Lisa. Okay. I'll save this. Um, so if you want to catch it later, I'm going to show you my planner um, so far. <clears throat> Uh, I've lost my thread. That second one definitely works. I've just tried it. Are you at work, Ellie? The link didn't work for you either, Dawn. I wonder if YouTube has banned Twitch links. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. If you go to twitch.tv and just search for Romany. Or I've put a link in my description box that should work I don't know why it's not working it should should work straight from there it's weird that works going to twitch tv and searching for Romany okay oh the one in in the description box below maybe it's a https link that might be what it is. Anyway, I didn't come on to talk about Twitch. <laughs> I came on to do something for my Patreons and I can't do that. So I should be doing something for you guys. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I've been whoops, live streaming over on Twitch. So in case you missed the announcement. What is going on with this? It's all wonky. It should not be wonky like that. There we go. Okay, back to the planner. So this is my planner. The Learning to Fly planner from Jane Davenport. You followed the link and then searched for Romany and found you. Excellent. Thank you, Dawn, for that. So there you go. Follow that link to Twitch TV and then search for Romany and it'll find me. I'm easy to find. I'm Romany everywhere. This is the one that I painted the inside of. And as you can see, the inside is working beautifully. See, it's all oh, a bit of sticky on there. Uh, this was me. I did that because when I had finished painting it, I left it accidentally left it closed when it hadn't fully finished curing. So that's what happens if it is accidentally sticks together. It's stuck to the front and back and the paint came off a little bit. But it's no biggie. I can retouch that. The rest of it has worn very, very well. This is the Liquitex paint. Now the deco art paint is suffering on the edges, as you can see. The pink is still coming through. The teal is coming through. Now that is purely wear and tear. It's not the paint, it's wear and tear where I've been using it. Shows you I've been using it. Uh, and it's just rubbing off on the edges. So I need to find a way to counteract that. And I think the way to do it is probably 
to do another coat of paint and let it fully dry and then put some Mod Podge over it just to try and, uh, you know, Mod Podge, Matte Medium, anything to just try and create a harder surface for it to stop. Like putting a top coat on your nails, that kind of thing. So, a little bit. What the hell is up with my camera today? Let's get the boobs out of the way so you can see. There we go. That's better. I'll put it in an angle so you're not getting the glare. So these are the Insti uh, dividers that I made. I've got a video coming up on how I made them. I made them out of some old packaging, so I thought I'd show you how I did it. Uh, I also have that one, and I've got a couple of others, but they're not in here. Uh, they're basically their tissue paper on the back and their packaging on the front and you can see the tissue paper through the packaging and it's kind of cute because these were kind of cut outs and then see that's the that's the tissue paper that you can see through it i like it and then this is just a plain bit of plastic just to protect that from this stuff this is just all my stickies and things that i use so the first section I've got is my work notes. These are colour coordinated. So orange is Patreon, pink is YouTube and blue is now admin and Twitch. Hello Luna. Luna, uh, Brenda, yeah, I think. This was supposed to be a Patreon stream, but I did a, I did a fail, <laughs> so. Well, I don't know if I did a fail. I scheduled it as unlisted, so it should have... It is Brenda. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, I scheduled it as unlisted, so it should have come up as unlisted, but it didn't, and I don't know why. So I'm just doing this, showing my planner to the world. <laughs> so then I've got a section for personal notes, and that's just the regular kind of, you know... I've got my bits and pieces from the Filofax with weights and measures and conversions and things. Uh, I've got crazy dogs in the background, if you can hear that. Uh, I've got my reading challenges, a uh, kit that I want to put together for the car, some current projects, things I want and need, stuff I'm going to bake, which reminds me to put it on my uh, shopping list, uh, stuff I need to buy. Uh, I've also got classics. This is a classic chest check chest list check list of uh, films. You know, films they say you should have seen. I think there's like twenty five on there or something, and I've seen over half of them. I've got some movies that I want to watch that I haven't because I've I've been so backed up with work and stuff that I've just not been able to. Um, get i mean i'm still i haven't seen angry birds when when did that come out like 18 months ago x-men apocalypse i still haven't seen that one i'm so behind on marvel i can't go and see um black panther in the cinema even though i love black panther and i really want to go and see it because i haven't seen the last six films <laughs> i think the last one i saw was avengers 2 i stopped at doctor strange is the next one I need to watch. Is that his name? Doctor Strange? Yeah, the one with um, Benedict, what's his face? Sherlock. That's the one I haven't seen from. I haven't even seen Guardian of the, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 yet. That's how far behind I am. So I need to catch up on that. This is my books to read list. This is all my uh, audio books that I've got. It's over two years worth of audiobooks that I haven't... Cumberbatch, that's him. Benedict Cumberbatch. I saw a meme for him that was like... there's a, He's got one of those names that no matter what you say, 
as long as it's got the right amount of syllables, it'll sound like his name. Like you could call him Bendito Cucumber Patch and <laughs> you'd still know who he was. <laughs> I might start calling him that actually. I like that. It's got a ring to it. Anyway, yeah, two years worth of books. And this one alone, Jonathan Strange is 32 hours long. So that's a lot of books I need to catch up on. I've been podcasting. Uh, Urban Sketches notes, um, various notes that are upside down because I wrote them on the wrong page for um, planner setups, notes for my desks and stuff like that, you know, general, car, doctor, all that kind of thing. So that's all my personal notes. And then I've got this section, which I need a divider for is my uh, planning, forward planning, I guess you would call it. I've got in here a grocery guide, which I haven't filled in yet. I'm going to do it the next time I do a big grocery shop because that's when I go in and I decide what's missing out of the freezer. So it's easier to do it when I do the big shop. I'll make a project of it for the day. These are from Peanuts Planico. A lot of my inserts that you see that are printed are from Peanuts Planico. And this is a grocery guide and it's literally just two columns, but you can fill in different things that you buy from different areas. So I've got veg, fruit, snacks, ready meals, drinks and desserts, freezer things, baking and herbs. Uh, and I'm also, you know, on, on these ones, which, you know, <laughs> I don't do baking and I don't, I already have a list of herbs in my witch cabinet and they're all edible so I don't really need to buy stuff except things like dried garlic and stuff that you know I can't be bothered with doing that myself um, and obviously fresh garlic is out of season so I tend to have dried garlic in the winter but this one I'm going to break up into sections so I've also got dog stuff because I've got certain treats that I always buy them because they don't affect Maddie's allergies. So I need to write down the ones that are good for her and the ones that and not the ones that I can't give her that set her she's got dermatitis on her paws and it set, triggers that. Hello, she heard her name. Hello, Miss Maddie. Oh, that's my alarm going off. What's that going off for? Hello, Miss Maddie. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Do you want to come up and say hello? Come up and say hello. Come up and say hello. Auntie Brenda's in look. Come on, come on up, come on up, come on, up, Miss Mary, come on, look, look, see, what? you don't want to say hello, you don't want to, I don't want to mum, she's giving me the stubborn look, she's giving me the stubborn look, come on, there she is, hi baby, hi there, everybody loves you, they want to see how pretty you are. That's Scoob in the background making his noise. You want to come up and say hello? Hello. He's not shy. There we go. <laughs> okay, back to where we were. Yeah, so this I think will be very useful because I, I'm a repetitive eater. I am not an adventurous eater. I'm one of those people. You found me on Twitch. Excellent. Um... I'm one of those people who can quite happily, if I could be bothered to meal plan, you know, people do like spend a whole Sunday prepping meals for a week. I could happily eat the same meal for like two weeks in a row. It doesn't bother me. I'm As long as I'm fed, I'm all right. I've got other things to worry about that need to be more variety set than what I eat, you know. Uh, as long as I've got my five a day and I'm eating reasonably healthy, and I get my my pizza on a Friday night I'm good you know so it doesn't bother me if I make a massive bowl of pasta and eat that for a week so with meal prepping and this um, grocery list it means I can buy stuff that I know I love and that I can eat over and over and over and over and over again. You know, you can never beat a jacket potato with cheese and beans. 
I could happily eat, live off jacket potato with cheese and beans for the rest of my life, just wouldn't be that healthy. So I can pick, mix and match stuff that I know I love eating. Then I've got this set of inserts, which I'll show you a blank one. I've only got up to June in here for these. So it's got, it's like a bullet journal. It's got first to the end of the month and the days and the weekends are marked in red. And then it's got the monthly plan. So it's got the week holidays. Now these came from the UK from a guy on eBay. I will put the link in the video replay down below. And so these are UK holidays. And he did change them up for me. Uh, there was a couple of things that I spotted a misprint and there was a couple of things I wanted. I asked for another one that was unpunched so that I could put it in my arc binder. And he was really helpful, totally fine with changing anything up. He said, as, as long as you don't mind it being a, a day or two later than the original post date, that's fine. Uh, and I, you know, I'm like, well, if you're making changes, then obviously it's going to be a little bit longer. That's not a problem. He fixed the couple of typos. He said, thank you very much for that. And um, he even sent me some spare note paper as well as a thank you. So that was very nice of him. I will put his link down below. So if you want to check out these inserts, you can. They were only £2.50 for the full year. Actually, it's um, it's not a full year. It's a 18 months. So it runs from January 2018 to June, end of June 2019. Brown beans with ginger, cheese and apple. Oh, my goodness. That might have to go on my new to eat thing. Oh, that sounds gorgeous. Mmm. I don't know about the brown beans thing. I'm not a big brown beans eater, but rice would be nice. Rice with ginger, cheese and apple. Oh, yeah. Pineapple, sorry. Absolutely. So on this side, you've got the holidays, you've got appointments, contact and to do with a check mark. mark. So this is really good for stuff that I need to do that month that I don't have. Like at the moment, I've only got January, February, March. I need to archive January, but I held on to it so I could show you guys and then put April in. But if I need to forward plan for May, I've got nowhere to put anything. So it means I've got a to do list here that I can put, you know, don't forget to do such and such in May. Don't forget to contact whatever. In June or whatever, you know, and then when I come to doing this month, actual planning it's all written down here if I've got appointments or anything like that, because things like uh, the vet appointments, Scooby's got his, his vet appointment this week, but Maddie's vet appointment is in six months and I'll make that when I go and do Ma Scooby's. So I'll have Maddie's written in here and I guarantee by the time I get to whenever it is, August, July, August, I'll have completely forgotten that I've already made the appointment. So this is really handy for forward planning. And it's I just put appointments in here. I also put for my astrology, I put any significant stuff, like really super significant for me stuff uh, or really unusual stuff like the blue super moon we had last month, that kind of thing. Then I got the UK holidays and calendar notes for this is 2018-2019 which came with the set and it also came with January 2018 year, January 2019 year and January 2120, which is uh, 2021, which is at the back of my planner back here. So that if I need to check anything that far ahead, I can't imagine why I would. But, you know, if I do need to check anything that far ahead, I can. I'm using the Jane Davenport insert dividers i'm not a big fan of side dividers but these don't stick out a massive amount they don't stick out any more than these do and i like that you know they're not huge whopping great things they're just kind of they don't even really stick out they're just kind of big enough to grab if i'm honest so this is how january ended up this is my word of the year transmogrify 
it's kind of like transform but it's more fun <laughs> my goals for the month I've I've started setting three goals for the month so my goals for January were to get ahead on Patreon which I did I've since fallen behind again because I wasn't very well but yeah it happens that was the whole point of getting ahead post more on Patreon which I did in January again I've been sick so I haven't posted quite as much in February but I'm getting there Twitch set it up I did I set it up on my birthday right at the end of the month just got in there under the deadline and then I've got some things that I needed to do that are just ongoing things that at some point I need to do them but it really doesn't matter if I get them done this month or in six months so then I've got the monthly tab monthly calendar and all of this is because it's too small to write in really even with my tiny writing it's too small and I can't really make use of it particularly because everything I've got is on my weeklies what I thought I would do here is just tracking so orange is when I've posted on patreon pink is when I posted on YouTube purple is when I had personal stuff like um, urban sketches or an astrology class or something like that you know uh, just purely for when I'm looking for things so I know what date stuff was uh, I've got my hours I've streamed on twitch in blue I've got my green is when there's something happening with the astrology transits that we've put on patreon um, and if anything else significant needs to go on there, then I just write it in red. Uh, but I didn't have anything significant for January. And then this, this is a weekly tracker. It actually should be, it says week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Again, this is a Peanuts Planico one. And what I'm using this for is tracking my videos. So the order that I've been doing videos for Patreon because sometimes I film all day and then I'll edit all day. So I get a bit lost as to what I've done and what I haven't done. So here I've got planned, filmed, edited, voiceover, upload, schedule, anything else, extras, any PDF, any link, anything like that that needs to go with it. So as I do each one, I mark it off and I, I've even put my podcasts in here, even though all I do is voice over and edit them um, and put an, uh, do a PDF. I didn't fill that one in. But it really helps me with seeing where I'm up to. So I know if I've planned videos ahead, I know if I've already filmed something, I know if something is already edited. I do half boxes if I've got part way through editing and had to stop. I can see if I need to do a voiceover or not. If I don't need to do a voiceover, I fill in the voiceover section. So I know that I don't need to do it. I class it as done. Um, and that's working really well. And I've, bre I've been breaking it down because there's six weeks on here. I've been breaking it down per week. So what that does, I tried it initially with... January I just had January but it occurred to me that if I put six weeks on here then I'm part way into next month which assists me in my getting ahead on Patreon stuff I don't normally decorate so but with it being Jane's planner well it's my planner but it's a Jane Davenport planner you know what I mean I thought it would be fun to just put some fun stuff in just so you could see what it could look like if you decorate I haven't gone overboard with it, but I've done a bit. But most of this stuff was done after the fact. My planner tends to look like that. Uh, and then I went in and added bits later. So my planner is set up. If you look at March, I've already got it set up with... It's an undated planner, so I had to go in and put the dates in. And then I've got stamps for what's happening that day so even though i haven't got anything written in i know when i come to here oh thursday the first of march podcast is due and this is due dates this is not what i'm working on um planner or journal flip there's a new moon a uh, full moon 
uh, that's a coffee chat, that's a video is due, podcast, flip, sketching day, that's an urban sketchers meetup. I don't have any information about what it is or when it is yet, but I know there's an urban sketchers meetup that day. And then because I don't use Sundays, I've pre put in one of these just for, you know, those odd bits and pieces that you think I really ought to get this done this week. But you don't have a day for it and you don't want to organise it. You don't want to plan it right now, but you need to write it down. That's what those are for. I don't always use them, but they're there already if I do need them. So this week was just, in fact, I think the first two weeks was just me working out how I could use the planner. And like I say, anything pretty was put in after the fact. The only things I've been putting in in advance is I've been stamping my date, as you can see. Um, and where I know I've got stuff upcoming, I've been going in. Obviously, I've gone in ahead and done March yesterday. Uh, and I've put stickers over just to cover because this says Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I just put stickers over and I use those for notes. And then I've put in my thing for the weeks to do. That's it. There's nothing else pretty in here. It's all just it's not pretty planning. It's visual planning. So it's everything on here has got a purpose. For instance, I've got a cute little maid there. Why do I have a cute little maid there? Oh, because that's where the day the cleaners were here. So when my my cleaners come, I put in something like a dustpan and brush or, you know, a little French maid. She's got a little French maid's outfit. She's really cute. Um, you know, just something like that, just so that I visually I look at that and I go, oh, cleaners coming. I don't have to read that. <laughs> that's what it's for. I'm a visual person. I need to have I need to be able to look at something and quickly know what it means. Uh, this, for instance, coffee and donuts, that means I had the day off. I took a day off there. I don't need to write it in. I know what it means. So this is a notes section. And instead of notes, I'm using it for my transits. That keeps the month clear for doing my tracking. Because there's so many transits, I mean, trying to fit all this on there and all the tracking would be a bit ridiculous. That would never work for me. So on here, the star means there was something really important happening that particular day. This is one of Jane's stickers. I just put it on there just to show you what it looks like. It's one of these. I'm not really using these stickers. They're not really my taste. They're a bit too blocky. I like my clear vinyl and little cute emoji type ones because, I don't know, seeing somebody doing something gives me a better idea of what it means than just having a pretty picture or a bit of washi tape. That's just how my brain works. So again, this is still me experimenting with how to put things in. Like I, I had a, a dark moon ritual there. So I put in, uh, I've got some ritual stickers. These, if you follow me on Pinterest at Romany, as usual, um, I've got a whole section on pagan planning and these are free principles and they had uh, meditate, uh, rituals, new moons, moon series. Hey, hey, hey. Scooby, quiet, please. Uh, there's also these. So there's loads of stuff on there. If you go to, like I say, uh, Romany on Pinterest and just Scoob, quiet. Oh, he's working. There's an Alaskan Malamute who lives around the back and every day she walks him all the way round here and all the way round to go to the park down there when she could walk down the road. And I swear she does it just to set my dogs off. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, these ritual stickers, meditation stickers and stuff like that. Um, 
I've tried different ways of doing things. I've been like this particular week. Um, oh, it wasn't this week. There was one week where I used Sunday to do my tracking. So I had a meditation sticker and I just ticked off what days I did. I love your planner videos. I learned so much from them. Oh, thank you, Pelican. That's really nice of you. I appreciate that. I ramble a lot, but <laughs> as long as it's useful, that's all that matters. Uh, so I think this was the last week where I was trying to work out how I was going to use it. This is when I started putting my pre-stamp stuff in and I went back and backdated it to see how that would look when... Because obviously if you've got an empty page, you can't visualise what it's going to be like once you've got a full page. Was it going to look too cluttered? So I went back and I did the stamping. Um... So I've got various different stampings, like if I'm doing um, editing, I put on my little headphones because I wear my headphones when I'm editing. Uh, little TV symbols are for when somebody's streaming on Twitch that I want to watch or TV or YouTube stuff that I want to catch up on. Uh, this is, I think I had a really busy day scheduled. Yes, I had two really busy days scheduled where I knew I wasn't going to have time to make dinner. So I very cleverly put a sticker on saying put something in the slow cooker. So I put something in the slow cooker first thing and then I had two days worth of food already done. Didn't have to do anything. Just take it out and serve it. Fantastic. Um, and a day off. I printed some of my Bitmoji stickers. Um, I use Bitmojis a lot. Uh, especially for my graphics and I figured out that if I download them and put them on small size sheets I can make them into stickers so that's what I did. More visual reminders why write a list saying put on the laundry when you can just stick a, a laundry thing in there I think these are from Panache yeah Panache Girl at Panache Girl or panache-girl.com Jessica, I think her name is. Oh, I hope I've got that right now. I did a whole series on her stickers when she launched. She sent me a load of them to try. And all these ones and things are, are from there as well. They just happen to be a really good size for this planner. This is where I actually started using the planner. I can tell because I've got some stuff is in black, which is pre-scheduled stuff where I'm setting up my week. And then as I go, I add in stuff. And I started doing added, added in stuff in a different colour so that I wouldn't forget I'd added it in. Uh, I think I later decided I didn't need to do that. And now I just use whatever pen comes to hand. But... I find when you just start a new planner session uh, or, or style, it's handy to start with the bare bones and add things in as you think you need them. Try things. And if it doesn't work, take it out again. Uh, kind of like I, I liken it to when you are checking to see if you're allergic to a certain food. You know, you take out five or six different things and you slowly add one back at a time to see if it's one or a combination or whatever. I kind of do that with my planning. Uh, this is the end of the month. So this is the rest of the week. And then this was just notes and stuff. Again, this is the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of this week. And I used it for my notes. Which left that page blank. So for the following month, I decided to use that page for my accounts, which is that page there. February, I've not been very good with keeping up with my planner, so it's a little bit sparse. I made the mistake of adding a whole bunch in and couldn't focus and got overwhelmed. I learned from that mistake. Yes, it's easy to do, isn't it? It's very easy to do, to throw a whole load of things in. Hi, boo-boo, shush. She doesn't want to play, look. She's finding her bone. 
it's very easy to think, oh, I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this just as you have the idea and then you find it doesn't work and then you have to rejig the whole system. Um, like I was using the stamps for stuff. Initially, I was using it as I went to plan and then I realised that wouldn't work because I didn't know what I was going to do on each day in advance. I literally work, you know, today I'm going to do this because yesterday I didn't get this done or yesterday I filmed this so today I need to edit it but I don't always know that I'm going to film yesterday, you know. So I was using these as I went and it didn't work. So now what I've done is I said, right, for March... I'm going to use those stamps as what's coming up. I know I do a podcast on Thursdays. I know that if I'm going to do a planner flip or a journal flip, it will be on a Friday. So even if I don't do something on those weeks, that doesn't matter. I can I can cover that up or tape it out or just write next to it, you know, a big a cross next to it or whatever, just to indicate that I didn't do a podcast that week or I didn't do a movie that week but I can swap it around. And I've got a vague idea of what I should be doing. It's the good thing about planners, you can change it at any time. Yes, if you've got a sufficiently organised system, you can change what you're doing any time you want. So February, I went for a pink theme. No spend, you're broke. <laughs> we have car trouble. And we're broke. So we're not spending money. Well, we're trying not to spend money. We're still spending money because things keep breaking. So far this month, my phone's gone. My car's gone twice with two different problems. My internet went and I had to get a new router. My computer nearly broke. Oh, it's been a nightmare. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. I was actually looking at the stars and thinking, is it a Mercury retrograde or something? Because, dude. <laughs> but no, it's just Mercury and Capricorn. Thanks, Mercury. Make everything hard work. Yeah, literally everything's broke. My phone, I'm back to my Note 3. That's how broke my phone is. Uh, so no spend. My three goals for the month. Get to March on Patreon by mid-February. I'm a little bit behind, but I am on course. So I haven't done it yet, but I have almost got there. Oh, stream on Twitch. I've been doing that. And catch up on debts. I'm kind of halfway through that, so I'll half colour it. Um, not massive amounts of debts, just like where I've... It's kind of a juggling act when you're self-employed. You rob Peter to pay Paul. And if your car needs fixing, then sometimes you don't pay your internet bill until next month. And then they write you a letter saying, you didn't pay your internet bill this month. And you go, yeah, I know. It's OK. I'm going to pay it next week. Honest. It's fine. You know, a bit of juggling. <laughs> and then I, I found this. This is by, um, now what's her name? Red Howling. How, Red, Red Howling, I think her name is, on Instagram. I'll put her link down below. Let me write those down because I need to write that down. Don't I? Um, notes. YouTube. Pink. So I need to write down Red Howl Instagram. What was the other thing I needed to link you to? Oh, the forward planning on eBay. Oh, and peanuts. Just in case any of you don't know if peanuts plan a clue. Your problems have all been with cameras. Yeah, cameras as well. One of my cameras died. Uh, it's just been a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Everything technical that could go wrong has gone wrong so far. I'm just not even surprised anymore. <laughs> so yeah, wishes. All I need is my poppy. My tracking has fallen away a little bit this month. <laughs> when you get a little bit behind, I find that I don't track when I most need it, which is when I'm behind. So I've got to rectify that. Somehow I've got to start tracking when I most need it. Because I haven't tracked anything at all this month, and here we are on the 19th of February. 
and I have no idea how many Patreon posts I've done, how many I should have done, where I'm up to, anything. Now, fortunately, because it's February, the 19th of February means it's, it's only halfway through the month. But, yeah, I need to sort that out. Same again, beginning of the month. Month started on a Wednesday. So I've got transits for this part of the week. And then I put sticky tape over these so I could just use them for notes. I've got some more at the end of the month for other notes as well. Battery's not staying charged. Memory card issues. Camera's not focusing when you're in video mode, but fine with pictures. Yes, yes. It's like there's some kind of electromagnetic pulse going on. It's just like, ha ha, we're going to mess with your equipment. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh God, it's not just me. <laughs> I find comfort in that. Uh, this month I decided, uh, Courtney did some really cool black and white date stamps. And I'm not the kind of girl who will go around writing in dates if I don't have to. So I printed them at like a quarter size. They're A4 paper and I printed them so they fit on A5 paper and cut them down and stuck them in. And they're not the right size or anything. I couldn't be bothered with that kind of messing about, but I could have done it like that if I wanted to, but I quite like them like this. Uh, I decided to use a pink pen this month for no apparent reason. I just did so this is the first week as you can see I didn't get I only got halfway through this first week and then last week didn't really happen and now I'm at the stage where I have to make an extra list so that I know what I haven't done <laughs> yeah so as soon as I'm finished here I need to knuckle down and get this week sorted figure out what I'm going to do this week uh, and part of that was trying to do this twitch stream uh, YouTube stream thing. Like I say, this was supposed to be unlisted for my patrons, but somehow it ended up not being private. I don't know why, because it is unlisted. Have to mess about with that a little bit more. This is my marker. So I'm a big fan of thumb markers because when I open my planner, I do it like that. So I've got down here I've got my one for YouTube and Patreon for my pink and orange and I literally I've got my blank paper at the front and the back and my pages that I'm working on on either side of this it just works I don't need two different dividers then I've got everything so I kind of work backwards on these pages and forwards on these pages this one is my forward planning my checklist is today, what I'm doing right now, this week, and so on. And then the little girl tab, which is the Courtney one. One of Courtney, oh, you can't see it, sorry. One of Courtney's is for my uh, addresses section, which obviously I'm not going to show you. But basically, uh, where have I got one that's a, an open address? Hang on, let me just, I've got. Here we go. I can probably do this one because this is Anna's and everybody Anna's is on her website. So literally what I did was I took Mrs. Brimble's stickers off her packaging that she sends out and stuck them into my address book. So one's her P.O. box and one is her actual address. Simple as that. I don't even bother rewriting it. And like um, I've got one. It's so scribbly, you probably wouldn't be able to read it. So I can probably show you that one for Jo. Uh, she sent me a package and I literally, there you go. You can see I literally just tore out the bit of the package, bit of the envelope and stuck it on. I don't bother rewriting things unless I absolutely have to. Unless your writing is terrible. <laughs> So if you've sent me something ever, then you're in that section, Brenda, Ellie. 
this is the Jane Davenport Mermaid marker. I have absolutely no use for it whatsoever, but it's pretty and I can't resist putting it on. So I put it on there. It kind of helps because if I take this off and I, I put it down somewhere, it's transparent. I don't know where it is, but with this on it, I can see it. <laughs> so I'll come back to this in a second because I've got some in the back here. So, yeah, I've set up February in advance. This is what our next week, well, this week looks like. And I will literally just go through and make notes. You know, I know I've got a coffee chat, which I was about to do with my patrons. That's what I was going to do. Um, I've got a video due tomorrow, which, again, I was going to live stream, but I need to fix that. Uh, paperclip is a blog post so if I'm writing a post as opposed to doing a video post that tends to be journal prompts and things like that uh, a podcast a journal flip I have done no journaling this year whatsoever none zero journaling I'll tell you about that in a minute uh, urban sketches this weekend that's the, what the pencil's for stuff I need to do so it's that simple that's how my weeks look and then month uh, March I've already started working on what I want to do and when yellow means I've got an import something important happening on the first and because of the way my brain works I only need to be reminded that there's something important on the first to think oh yeah it's my dad's birthday I need to remember to send his present See, a visual reminder, even if it's just a colour in the right date, boof. You can cross yours out. You moved in November? Oh, I didn't realise that. Gosh, is it that long since I last spoke to you? Because I didn't realise you'd moved. I think you were talking about moving. Yeah, you'll have to email me your address or message me your address so that I put it in here and I remember that it's changed. Uh, so again, March starts on the Wednesday, so I've covered these up. I'll use them for notes. This will be my transits for the week. I've already put in the new moons, the the, oh, bleh, the full moons. So that's twice I've done that. Maybe I need to swap them over. Uh, and the dark moon I thought I'd put in as well, but obviously I haven't. These back pages, there's two of these pages. One is notes on both sides and I'm not really using them as you can see I'm sending them to the back this one that is part of the week and then blank on the back I'm using that for that month's finance financial stuff and it's very 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 simple what I'm doing um, so this is February <laughs> The 1st to the 7th is the busiest week because, you know, most bills go out on the 1st. Send it through Instagram. Yes, that's a good idea because I always check Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. If you guys are ever trying to get hold of me and you can't get hold of me on anywhere else, message me on Instagram because that's where I am 90% of the time. I can't get off the damn thing. <laughs> anyway, almost everything goes out on the 1st to the 5th. So that's the first week of what I'm expecting to go out and what I'm expecting to come in. Then I've got the second week, the third week and the fourth week. And I might even put the third and fourth weeks together because it doesn't really matter which week I buy petrol unless I run out or which week I pay the cleaner for the end of the month or which week I order next month's dog food. It really doesn't matter as long as I do it this month for next month. So I might put all those together as after the 14th. I also need to have this. So that's all I'm doing for it. So I know what I've got coming in. I know what I've got coming out. I know. And then basically I've got in, out and balance. So as long as the balance doesn't go below about £15, I'm good. Because I've got 15 quid for just buying any sundries, food, you know, paying for car parking and things like that. But everything else goes out automatically. So that's my planning section. Like I say, I've got three months in there. I left January in so I could show you, but I'm, when I've done this, I'm going to take January out and put April in. And I've got a Carpe Diem planner, which is huge. It's even bigger than this one. 
massive rings like this is 30 millimeter rings and they're enormous but the carpe diem one is even bigger so it's really good for archiving and storing spare paper and stuff like that um i'm putting my archive in there and i've got my upcoming stuff in there as well so i've just got a divider for my calendar and then i can flip to the right page put in the old one take out the new one, next one put it in here these pages i found these on aliexpress and they are so cool all they are is little you know white and color but this matches my color scheme so i use these for uh, i started using them like that and then i thought well hang on a minute i don't need that much space so i trim them in half and this works even better so i can fit two weeks on half a page so I've got, it's 40 pages, so I've got 80 weeks, 160 weeks, that's two years worth for £2.50, that's not bad is it? It matches my colour scheme, colour coding, so it doesn't have orange, it's got blue, but I don't have much planning or anything to do for Twitch or anything like that. Um, Oh no, this isn't, I'm sorry, this isn't an organised one. That was my list of something else I was doing. This is an organised one. So blue, admin and Twitch. Pink, YouTube. Yellow is orange for Patreon. Purple, personal stuff. And then any extra notes or anything, I'm just I've just been thrown up here. Uh, and these, oh this one I, this one is just in the wrong place. I don't know what happened there. So that's the first two weeks of February and this is the second two weeks of February. Because I don't need to put down all my videos that I need to do or anything like that because those are all on these pages back here. Uh, I need to print one out for February. I haven't got one set up for February. Why haven't I got one set up for February? Oh, because I was trying... Okay. Instead of this for February, I was trying this, but it's not working. As you can tell, I'm way behind, so it's not working. This kept me on track better, so I need to set one of these up for February, go through the weeks of what I should have done by now, and see where I'm up to and what I haven't done. Uh, and like I said, what I'll do is I'll start it on the 1st of February, but I'll run it right the way through to the middle of March. And all of these I've set so that they're pull-outable, so that I can have this in the month, or if I want to, I can put it here, clip it onto there. Whoops. So it's on my tab. So if I want to take this out, I can, and then it goes straight back in again. It's nice and easy. You can see how rough I am with my planner. And this is holding up perfectly. Hello, Ina. Nice to see you. Uh, so, yeah, this is... I don't think I have much back here. This is mostly... This is just spare paper. And then this section, which I've got clipped together, is my finance stuff that is not just, this is what I have to pay this month. This is, like, ongoing things, like... Uh, my car insurance, knocking that down because I pay it in instalments rather than all in one go because it's cheaper. Well, it's not cheaper, but it's easier for me to pay it in instalments. So I need to know what instalment I'm up to and how much I've got left to pay. You know, student loans, that kind of stuff. I've nearly finished my student loans. I finished one in November and I've got one more to go. Finishes this November and I'm free. Anyway. <laughs> Then I've got some green paper for finance stuff and I've got a I've got the fold out budget planner. This one is an old one. This is from like two years ago now. I believe this is the one from Filofaxi. I'm reasonably sure that this is the one that Steve did or Ray did for Filofaxi, but I'm not 100 percent sure because what I started doing now is writing on the bottom of inserts where I printed them from. That's a really good tip if you want to share it with people. Write down, even in pencil, on the bottom where you got it from. So I think that's the Filofaxi one. This is the Peanuts Planico one. This is a misprint, but I'm gonna, I've kept it because I use it for 
uh, a rough draft and this is the proper one that I'm going to actually use that will replace this and this is more of a I'll put the link because she did a fantastic um, video on how she uses it and how she intended it to be used so peanuts um, Etsy and um, finance tracker she did a fantastic video on how to use this it made so much sense to me and in conjunction with the little ticky box thing that I have that tells me how much money I've got at any given point in the month then that should work you have another 2,000 years of loans to go yeah it feels like that sometimes doesn't it a student loan isn't it should just be called a life mortgage <laughs> my life is relatively boring so i'm not even using a planner lately just a pocket diary for appointments if that's all you need that's all you need isn't it for a long time i didn't bother using planners i just you know my art journal that i was carrying around would have this with me and you know i i carry post-it notes in the back and i would just take a post-it note out and slap it on and here's my today because I've always got pages like this that I've not worked, you know, I've, I've just tested stuff on or something like that. Sometimes I'll paint over them and redo them. Sometimes I'll use them for something. Sometimes I won't. But there's never any harm in just sticking a post-it note on there and going, right, OK, that's what I need to do today. And you just have it sticking out of your book. And there's your five things that you need to remember to do this week. And for a long time, I did that. The loans will outlive you. Oh, yeah, I know. I know the feeling. My first six months on Patreon last year were absolutely amazing. And that's what helped me pay it off, in all honesty. I've gone back down to about a third now of what I was earning this time last year. Because obviously that, you know, that happens. Uh, people sign up initially and then they decide that they don't want to keep doing it. Or, you know, you because I've changed some of the class stuff. Uh, some people are not so interested in that. Um, Patreon messing about in November, that didn't help. But, you know, the beginning of last year on Patreon was fantastic and I cleared a whole load of stuff. It was really good. So that's helped enormously going forward. And then it, I've just got a little section here for my paws, my best friends. Miss Maddie, I've got a photo of Miss Maddie with her stuff stuck on the back. So she's got her vaccination card, her information, her chip number, all that kind of stuff. Same for Scooby, picture of Scooby with a index card stuck on the back with his chip number and all that kind of stuff. I've got to find his, I can't find his membership card. I've got to find that because it's got his number on. And then I've got the dog measurements, which I update, although they don't change weight or height or anything. And then my people section. Uh, and then I've just got a wallet in the back that's got my template. I don't really use this a whole lot, but it is quite handy to have if I want to you know, put some dots and dashes or mark around something. I tend to forget I have it in all honesty, but it's quite handy to have just in case. I use it in my journal more than I use it in here. Perhaps I should put it in my journal. Although I haven't journaled. Yeah. And then at the back here, I've just got my Hobonichi A6, which I've punched some holes in. And I use that as a lifter plate or a resting plate or, you know, paperboard or whatever I need it to be at the time. And it sticks out quite a lot. It's about half an inch. Yeah, about half an inch wider than the Filofax paper. So that sticks out nicely. And then in the back here, I've just got a little book. If I'm going to do some idea planning or brainstorming or something like that, I take this out and I put it in the back of my journal and I take this with me because I'm more likely to sketch than I am to do anything else. I'm not, I don't generally plan. This lives at home. 
I don't carry this around with me. I don't need to because all my appointments are in my phone. And honestly, the only time I leave the house is to go to an appointment that I already know I've got. <laughs> so I don't need to take this with me. But if I do want to just, you know, jot down some ideas, if I've got busy brain and I want to do a brain dump or anything, I just take that out, take that with me. And it's got really cute paper in. It's got little doggies. I got a set of them from Amazon. There's a lined one, a blank one and a dot grid. And they're just little... Um, all the pages are perforated. Uh, and they're perforated so that you can cut them off square if you want to. And they fit in a pocket planner, which is an excellent idea. So it's a pocket field note size, but it's perforated along here so you just take off the perforations and it fits in a pocket planner somebody was very clever there that was a great idea because i can write all my lists and then punch it and put it in here so there you go that's my that's my jane davenport planner since i'm already on a roll and we're over an hour already <laughs> i might as well Give you a quick look at my sketchbook i've really i've not done any journaling no journaling at all since oh it's my camera moved again it keeps doing that it's annoying stop it okay uh when did i do i stopped journaling over christmas when i had my three weeks off because when i'm in kickback mode I like to just doodle and I filled one of these in three weeks but I haven't done any written journaling photo journaling type record keeping stuff since then I did I think I did like a one page where I printed out some photos because I was going to go back to using this yeah 2018 there you go that's how far I got with my journaling in 2018 so far it's impressive isn't it I do need to do some writing because I've got a lot buzzing around in my head and I need to get it out so at some point I will pick this up but right now is not the time to do it because well right now is the time I need to do it but right now now is not the time to do it because I'm behind with everything else so I've got to get that done first priorities so this is my sketchbook um, I use this page for stickers and fun stuff. So this is a sticker that Andrea sent me that she got from uh, Comic-Con, I think. She sent me a couple of different things she got from Comic-Con that she really liked. I've got my information, a couple of stickers. This is a Courtney one. First coffee. All good plans start with a cup of coffee and end with a cup of tea. I'm a writing journal that I'm using for one specific area of my life and that's all I've been doing. Yeah, I've been concentrating more on my book shadows, surprisingly. I took a break for a while, randomly journaled and now I'm back to journaling. It feels good. Yes, it does feel good to get back to stuff. Sometimes you need to take a break and it's OK to take a break. And that's one of the reasons why I say, hey, look, here I am professional artist and journaler and guess what I'm not doing any journaling <laughs> because it's okay to do that even as a professional it's okay to do that the key is that I'm first and foremost a teacher so it's important to address why I'm doing that what else I'm doing instead and that kind of thing you know rather than stressing about oh I've got three weeks of journaling I haven't done yet so I can't journal Nick this week because I'm done the last week. Like, oh, I don't understand that mentality. It's not important. If it's that important to do things in chronological order when you don't feel like journaling, just write it on a post-it note. A post-it note and a photo is just as good as doing pages of writing if it's going to stress you out that much. But I, it doesn't stress me out if I don't. The way I look at it is, and I can't remember who said it, I think... It was Anais Nin said the periods where I don't journal are just tell just as much about me as the periods where I do. And I think that says it all. That sums it up for me. 
used to stress myself out over it but now I don't now I roll with it and do something else that feels good until I'm ready to journal again yeah exactly that's what I do if I feel like sketching I sketch if I feel like journaling I journal I know I'm always doing one of the two but sometimes I don't feel like writing I just want to paint we're in charge of ourselves so we decide when to or not to journal bullet journal sketch etc yes Luna that is exactly it absolutely it was an is name yeah i thought it was love the mermaid yeah it's nice isn't it jen it's um i can't remember the name of the artist because i can't read the signature i need to write it down when she tells me who it is <laughs> i need to write the name of the artist down here uh, she's done a whole series of them and they're really nice high quality stickers as well it was kind of a shame to bend her but I found the place to bend her where it would least affect the picture. And actually, I quite like it. I think it goes well with this mermaid tape from Jane. And I got my Miss Maddie there with her little crown. Mm, sparkly crown. <laughs> uh, this is the blank page that does nothing. This is a collage page. This is kind of along the lines of the by bun classes that I've been doing which obviously I don't show on camera me doing them um, but this is me start this is the first one I did where I started to take what she was teaching us and tried to change it to my own kind of thing it wasn't that successful but I learned a lot from it so in that sense it was a success I learned a huge amount about how I could integrate what I'd learned from her with what I was already doing. Um, so although I don't love this page, I learnt a lot from it. And every time I look at it, I go, oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember that. You know, like I don't like drippies. I've always known I'm not a big fan of drippies. But I don't like drippies. However, this, this technique I do like. This is not drippies. This is something else. Same look, different way of doing things. This annoys me. It's like you messed it up. Which is ridiculous because I never consider anything a mess up. But to me, it looks like you just slopped it on there and it went wrong. And then you tried to cover it up and you didn't succeed. And that annoys me more than this, which I look at and go, oh, yeah, I did that. And I remember doing that and look, it looks like kind of like trees and it gave me this effect. This makes me happy. This drives me insane. And all it is, is the same thing done in two different ways. Some people love drips. I'm not a fan of drips. I don't like drips. Drips are messy. They don't, you can't control them. I'm a bit of a control freak, even though most of the time... I'm throw it at the page and see what sticks. I like to throw my media in a way that I know it will stick to the page in the way I want it to, if that makes sense. It's less of a shotgun blast and more of a dart. <laughs> Mermaids are bendy. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, like I said, the crossover between the way Bun does her collage and the way I do mine and it's a bit of a mess but it's a, it was a teaching experience it was a learning experience and I enjoyed it for that this was one I did live I think or as a video or something I don't remember I know I filmed it somehow I think I might have done it live as a bella, bella donna I still haven't decided if she's finished or not I kind of like the fact that she's empty in the middle and she's got empty eyes. It says something, but I don't know what it says. And that, I think, is why it doesn't feel finished. Because I don't know what she says yet. This was one I did on Twitch. I had already done this page, but not like this. It looked a bit brighter and lighter. This page I had drawn on and it was horrible, so I painted over it in black. So then I had this real kind of ugly ah thing going on of jet black page. Pretty happy colours. 
and yeah, I couldn't have that. So I spent a couple of hours on Twitch doing a live stream of getting this to go. It says finish me. <laughs> yeah. What it says is I'm not done yet. <laughs> uh, this one, people see all sorts of things in it. And I really like that. I was going to do something over the top, like do cutouts and draw on it. But I like the fact that so many people see so many different things in this one. So I might leave this one as it is because I actually do really like it as it is. Which is unusual for me. I don't normally do abstract art. I don't normally enjoy abstract art. But there you go. Twitch. Oh, did you not hear it at the beginning, Susan? Um, Twitch is a live streaming platform. Twitch.tv and search for Romany. I do live streams over there. Kind of like this, but they're way more fun because you can do more with it than you can here. Twitch is very complicated. It's set up for gamers. If you've got a gaming brain and you're used to how that kind of stuff works, it's really easy to set up. But even for me, having not gamed for a while, I found it a bit daunting. But once you get into it, it, it works. You've got to be good with Google to get Twitch working. But if you want to just live stream Burgess, try OBS with uh, YouTube and see how that works for you. Or go onto the YouTube live dashboard and there's a whole list of different um, third party software you can use for streaming rather than just going on live and hoping that it works because it never does. Um, go on there and see if there's something that's more compatible with your system because you're PC user, aren't you? I'm Mac. So I can't really tell you what will work on your system because I don't I haven't used a, Mac, a PC in 10 years. But. OBS is quite complicated as well. It, again, it's a gaming brain, but you might find it easier to go in and look at the live live dashboard in your live dashboard. And it says FAQs about life dashboard. And when you click on there, there's a link to uh, software you can use for streaming that helps you set up being able to do this, for instance, really quickly and easily. Did I do Belladonna on Twitch? I couldn't remember. Yeah, I think I might have done. Because I haven't done YouTube live for ages because I couldn't get it to work. We're off to eat. Okay. Chat to you later, Ellie. I'm streaming tonight on Twitch in about uh, four hours. About 10 o'clock-ish, if you want to join us then. This is another one that I'm doing for Buns class, so I'll skip over that because I don't really want to explain it because that's Buns class. You need to get a MacBook Pro for this stuff. Uh, I wouldn't. Get an iMac. It will cost more, but it will last longer. I went the MacBook Pro option and for the amount I paid for my MacBook Pro, I would have been better off getting a second-hand iMac that had loads of ram in it my macbook pro has four gig of ram my imac has 16 and it makes such a difference you wouldn't believe huge amounts of difference plus macs are optimized for video and graphic and video uh, editing and all that kind of stuff rather than pcs are workhorses and you can optimize them for gaming so if you're going to go Mac, go the whole hog and get yourself a, a reconditioned Mac iMac on Amazon that comes with a warranty. That's your best bet. This was the, this is all ballpoint pen, this one. This is my Baba Yaga chicken hut. I really enjoyed doing this one. It took ages. There's lots and lots and lots of layering on here, but it was fun. Uh, that's a random page I haven't done anything with. Another random page I haven't done anything with. I don't work in order. This one I started when I was watching Sleepy Hollow one night and I finished it on Twitch. 
Um, so again, you can see that what I do on Twitch is more kind of just me playing in my art journal as opposed to like this sort of stuff where I'm walking you through things, talking you through stuff, doing tutorial, whatever, like I do on YouTube. It's just me turning up, chatting to people, going, hmm, what shall I do with this? Oh, I know, let's throw in a green background. It's my off time, but I share it with you guys. And then this was one I did on Twitch the other day, and I actually did two in an hour and a half, which is unheard of. I don't, admittedly, they were both sketched out already. Uh, this one was one I started drawing and then halfway through it, hang on, I've got to get my book. Oh, it fell on the floor. Halfway through it, I decided I really wished I'd put her on this paper so I could paint her. Ew, why is that wet? I don't know. Somebody spat on it, Scooby-Doo. Uh, this is acrylic paper, which I haven't used before. And I put her, I redrew her on here and we're repainting her. So this is what I was doing on Wednesday. I'll probably do this again on Wednesday this week. Because I'd quite like to finish her, but I'm not doing it tonight. And then because she was just a pencil sketch, I thought, well, I'll fill her in. And I just started doodling. And then I had kind of a... You know my scribbly sketches where it doesn't really look like anything and I was explaining how to somebody asked about Andrea asked about how to draw dreads when they were up in a pineapple updo because she couldn't get it right and I was talking to her about how to you know get the volume and how to make it look like dreads as opposed to hair or you know straight hair actual dreads and you know I was just showing her how to do that and then I kind of liked the way it looked, so I decided to give her a face and a body and I added it in and then I painted it all on Twitch. It was fun. It's another testing page I'll have to play with. Uh, that's it. That's all I've done. In here. <laughs> so that's that one. Obviously I've been doing my Patreon stuff as well, but I'm not showing you that. And then... I came back, I found this one again. Do you remember this one? I found, this is my Dilutions journal, uh, which I took the big cover off because I absolutely hated it. Um, I took the big cardboard cover off and used a um, magazine backing just to fill in the back to give it a proper cover. And I've been reworking this one. Again, this is one I've been playing with on Twitch. So it's... <laughs> You're getting to see more of me just making art than always teaching, always full on, here's what you have to do, here's this and here's that. You know, I do enough of that already. Twitch is my opportunity to just chill out and hang with you guys while you make art and I make art and, you know, just playing about. So this bit has all been worked on Twitch. There's about six hours of this. Obviously, it's live, so um, there's some chatting and talking and stuff like that. What I'm doing is downloading the videos, so my Patreons, because they only stay on Twitch for 14 days, my Patreons will get the full original video, and then I'll cut it down to just the painting for YouTube. But obviously, you know, there's four or five different streams for this one that I need to cut chunks out of. To turn it into a speed paint for YouTube and I haven't finished this video this painting yet so you won't see this one on YouTube for a while yet but this is my exploded collage ones you know where I take the I take bits of collage and throw them out it kind of starts like this with a vague idea and then I start adding to it and I start adding paint and I add extra images and then it turns into something like this and then it sits there for about six months where I, while I think, what the heck am I going to do with it now? And then suddenly it comes to me and bam, this happens. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying this process. This is proper back to basics mixed media and I'm really enjoying it. I've missed this. Um, but again, with, with doing the witchy stuff, I don't get to teach this so much. 
and it's a very long process i mean this has already been i think two and a half streams i've done on this so about six hours already plus what i'd already done plus what i've done in between that's a lot of work you can't video that amount of work and turn it into 30 minutes of video unless you do it on youtube as a as speed paint you can't do it as a 30 minute tutorial it's virtually impossible so anyway that one is i'd say maybe 40 percent done now maybe 30 percent 40 percent something like that and the premise behind this one is it kind of came to me halfway through my first session on it is maiden mother crone it's the creation so we've got the maiden watching the mother welcoming in all the creation universe stuff with the crone with all her knowledge of the world walking out of the picture that's kind of the basis of it at the moment and then i've got my wolf girl here prussian princess these are just color swatches i might use them as extra bits later um long way to go on this one long way to go she's mostly finished i don't like the expression on her face she's a bit i don't know she well she's got resting bitch face i suppose that's okay need to check it out when i upload it me on my moons yeah you can watch it on twitch if you want to you don't have to pay on twitch or anything it's um it's still up on Twitch, but it will be up properly on Vimeo. Um, and for those of you who are alumni, obviously it will be downloadable as well. So Patreons and alumni are gaining from the Twitch thing as well, because you get longer to watch stuff and you get to download it and kind of almost use it as a tutorial, as a follow along if you want to. Um, and then I really want to start working on this one. I've got some ideas on this one. And I give them really weird titles. Like this is the chair of the punk rock prince. I don't know why. That's just what it's called. That's what it says it's called. This is the Prussian princess. This is the creation. That one's not anything at the moment. It doesn't have a title. Um, this is tentatively called the demon of time. But there's more to it. I feel like it's the demon of time versus something, but I don't have the versus thing. And it came from an idea of basically, oh my Lord, look how many books I have to read <laughs> that I haven't read yet. <laughs> that feeling of, you know, collecting stuff to do or to use or to read or to watch. Oh, I must keep that to watch. I must keep that to watch. You know add that to my watch later on youtube blah 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 and then before you know it you've got 900 videos on youtube to watch and half of them are out of date and some of them don't even exist anymore <laughs> that's what happens to me anyway so the verses is something there's the balance the counterbalance is not here yet in this one this is my creative brain in motion my arty brain that one i just like the picture and i want to do her as a portrait for practice and then this one is the wobbly world of time i suspect this is going to have a doctor who theme i suspect again it's an exploded collage one and i forget what this one's called actually i forget her name i've got it written down somewhere i had it on a post-it note because i'd painted over it I don't remember what her name is. But I love the blue. Absolutely love the blue. And then this I was just playing about with. I think. I don't know. But I think I got this idea off a YouTube video where somebody had created layers. And then I thought, hey, if I take that one off and paste it in there, I can put that there. So I've got another layer. And they were using these layers for things. And I'm I'm sure I saw it. Somebody do something similar on a YouTube video or something. But I'm, I'm damned if I can find it. 
Usually I can write it down. But I didn't write it down. Which to me says that it was in my watch now list or watch later list. I watched it and like a couple of weeks later I thought, oh, hang on a minute, I'll do this. That'll be a good idea. And then I realised it was something that I'd seen on a video and I went looking for the video and I couldn't find it. So, yeah, if you see this on a video somewhere, let me know because I'm pretty sure that's the, the video I used. <laughs> so, there's nothing else in this book. This is, this is, I think. I don't think there's anything else in this book. Oh, there's a, a mermaid that I'm not very happy with. But um, I don't like mermaids. I keep trying to draw mermaids. I don't like them. I need to do something with this cover. That's going to have to happen at some point. But Because I, I hate this yellow. But I don't know what I want to do with it. I, I kind of think I want to do it black with colours. I'm very inspired by this page and these colours like this this half of the page with that black and colour so I'm thinking maybe I could do something like that on there I don't know as with all things it goes into my brain and I mull it over for a couple of weeks and then suddenly I have an idea and I go hey I know bam and then it's like art vomit <laughs> oh it's hard to explain to people who are not creatives so i assume a lot of you will understand this that 75 percent of my creative time is spent in my own head just because i look like i'm sitting drinking a cup of coffee and not actually doing something does not mean that i'm not actually doing something mostly it means that i'm thinking up color schemes and running my running my my mind along the colours on my shelf going where did I put that cream that I was using the other day because <laughs> I'm going to need that later that kind of stuff so I'm having to add watch time in my planner to keep up with videos on all platforms now to follow through yeah it's difficult isn't it that's one of the reasons that I offered my alumni unlimited access to videos you can download them You've got lifetime access until I retire the class. And I'm just now thinking perhaps I should retire the portraits classes. I might do one more run and then retire them. I might do like a bundle sale or something because they're really old classes. They're not very good quality compared to what I do now, but they're still valid. So I think I might do a quick sale on them on Etsy maybe in March, do a spring sale, blitz sale for a couple of days, last chance to buy, and then that'll be it, I'll close it. And then at the end of the year, I can retire it. <coughs> Excuse me, at the end of the year, I can retire it for everybody. But um, yeah, I watch videos while I journal. And I watch videos over and over again. I have all of Courtney's videos I've put into a playlist, an unlisted playlist on my own youtube so i've got links to all her videos private playlist i can just hit play and her videos just come up hey 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 can we not thank you let's not and say we did all right yeah we'll just pretend Less noise, less noise. So I think I'm going to wrap up there because I still need to figure out how to do this for patron <laughs> patrons. So if you see me popping on and off, I'm trying to figure out how to do it for Patreon without it being uh, listed. Because like I said, I set this up unlisted and when it went live, it notified everybody. So that sounds strange. I don't know what happened. Maybe I did it wrong. Company or post? No, it's 20 to 7. Post wouldn't have, would have been, if we were going to get post, it would have been before lunch. It's definitely not company because nobody's texted me to say, hey, I'm coming round. 
because people don't do that. They know better than to do that. People, the only person that rings the doorbell, and even then it's it's somebody that I will have expected to come around, is the pizza delivery guy on a Friday night. <laughs> Nobody else rings my doorbell, they just don't bother. They text me and say, hey, can I come and see you in March? <laughs> For some reason it has to do with the public unlisted settings. I did that and had it unlisted in one thing, but public in another. Ah, yes, so there could be a default setting that is overriding me telling it that it's unlisted. That could be it. It was a scheduled video, so it could be that my normal live video is set to public and my unlist my scheduled is set to unlisted yes i never thought of that thank you burgess that's that's helpful see this is the kind of thing that annoys me about youtube if i set it to unlisted it should be unlisted unlisted should override anything else but right so it's in two different places i shall have to check that i don't know how to do it Maybe I need to go live without OBS to set it to unlisted and then schedule it as unlisted afterwards. Maybe that's what I need to do. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm going to spend a little while playing with it. I need to have a coffee and uh, play about with it. I'll try and get some more editing done. I am patrons. I am aware that I am behind on February's calendar thing. Those of you who've been doing astrology with me for a while now should be able to do a at least a little bit of it yourselves. And I've also put March up in advance. You are getting March before March, but I'm behind with February. I might do March first so that you definitely get that ahead. Because if February's already behind, it doesn't really matter, does it? So another day won't kill you. Whereas March, I want to get March up and ready because that's the last thing I have to do for March for the first two weeks. We're ahead. See, that's the thing with, with YouTube. You do have to fiddle with it until you figure it out. With Twitch, you just go to the help section and it tells you what to do. <laughs> yeah, I need to do some more with astrology. That's why I wanted to do some more live videos so that you guys can come on and say, well, you know, this is where I'm struggling. Because I can ask you what videos you want till the cows come home and I'll still only get two people saying, oh, I'd like a video on this. And at least one of those will be some something I've already done. And I really want to be more in a state of, right, here's what I'm going to show you today. And then you get halfway through, go, oh, hang on a minute. I didn't follow that. Slow that down. Say it again. Explain it to me like I'm a four year old. I want you guys to have that opportunity to do that on Patreon. So that's why I've been trying to do this. But so far, not working. I'm hoping I don't have to spend the extra $400 to be able to do it on Vimeo as a private stream. Because I should be able to do it on YouTube. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. Uh, thank you for those of you who joined me. I'm glad you popped along and saw the notification. Do join me later on Twitch if you want to. Uh, it's quarter to seven now. I will be going on about 10.30. Maybe a bit later. Usually about 10.30. So about three and a bit hours. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, again, like I say, if you follow on Patreon... That is the same as subscribing on YouTube. Subscriptions is something completely different. Um, but if you do have Twitch, have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon Prime and your Twitch account, get a free subscription, which does absolutely nothing for you other than getting you a couple of emoji, but it does a lot for me because it's an affiliate link. So if you want to do that, you're welcome to do. Such a beginner, you don't know what to ask. See, that is where having a live thing is useful because when I say something you can say whoa stop the boat you missed a section where does that come in I don't know what that means I don't understand I really want that for you to have that interaction and 
at least if it's live, you've got a good chance, even if you can't make it to the live, you've got somebody else has got a good chance of saying, well, hang on a minute. I don't understand that. So you might get the answer anyway, because somebody else didn't follow it either. And I think that's really good. And because of the way I work, it won't always be the same time. I could stream at four o'clock in the morning because I can't sleep or I could do it at 10 o'clock in the morning or I could do it now. You know, <laughs> the only things I can tell you is it won't be at 10 o'clock on a Monday or 8.30 on a Wednesday because that's when I Twitch stream because I do have a schedule over there because that's my carve out time for me where I just do stuff for me along with my Friday night pizza and scary movie night with Miss Maddie. Because me time is important too, people. Put it in your planner. It's all very well doing stuff, but not doing stuff is just as important. I prefer the interaction. I'm going to go live on Patreon at least once a month now. Same with YouTube. Yeah, that's how I started, was just doing it once a month. A little bit of a chat. Get together with a few people. Even if it was only one person came and asked a few questions, that's, you know, it's worth it just for one person. If that one person has questions and needs some help and they go away understanding what you've done. Um, but for me, the for what I'm teaching and the way I'm working, you know, there's no reason why I can't, when I'm doing a tarot card draw for myself, do it live and just talk you through it as I'm doing it. It's much easier than trying to film it and then talk you through it afterwards with a voiceover. And then there's editing and everything else and it's... I spend my life editing instead of making stuff and doing stuff. And I want to get out of that. I'm I'm tired of being a video editor. I didn't sign up for being a video editor. <laughs> I signed up for being a live content creator. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> oh, anyway. And yes, YouTube, as soon as I get myself organised with... I've, I'm fairly organised on Twitch now because I've carved it out with me time rather than stuff I have to plan and work on. Uh, and I'm catching up on you, Patreon. I'm getting to the point now where I'm half, I'm a month ahead. So I've just got a few things to catch up on and I will be halfway through March. As soon as I'm done with that, I will be back to making videos on YouTube, I promise. Uh, but as I said to my Patreons earlier, you know, doing a 30 minute video, it takes two to four hours to film it, an hour and a half to plan it anything up to five hours to edit it and then you've got all the uploading and rendering and scheduling and all the links and everything else before you know it you've spent a day and a half doing a 30 minute video and it is a massive time sink people don't realize how much effort goes into making one 30 minute video video for youtube they really don't which is why i'm trying to get away from pre-scheduled videos on patreon because i need to free up my time and I'm, I'm bored I don't want to be video editing. I want to be showing you guys the fun stuff that we're doing and saying, hey, look at this. Look what we can do. Add in more time when the technology adds up. Yes, that happened to me the other day. I had to I was trying to re vi edit a video. I knew it was going to take me about three hours because it was a really short little thing and it was a coffee chat. So there wasn't a lot of extra footage. It was just me talking to the camera. So I didn't have to do a lot of other than editing out dogs barking and things. I knew it was only going to take about an hour, hour and a half to get the whole thing done. What happened? My computer decided to auto update. Didn't like the update. My video software wouldn't work because of it. And I had to spend two hours rolling back my system to the old version. Thank goodness for Time Machine is all I can say. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here now. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you all again very soon and if you're over on patreon or over on twitch i will see you there even sooner thanks bye